And in order for something to float on a liquid, its density has to be smaller than the liquid you're floating in. When the density is smaller than the liquid you're floating in, then you float. If the density is bigger, then you sink, right? But because the volume gets bigger, the density gets smaller, and that's why ice actually uh, floats to the surface. Now, what happens, this is the punchline for why it's important. When we take liquid water and we freeze it, what happens to it? Well, because it tends to float whenever it uh, freezes, what means is there's a thin layer on the top right here. This is a thin layer of water ice. Anytime it freezes, it floats to the surface. And that means that this forms an insulator for any fish that are swimming in the bottom uh, or, or whatever. All ponds, lakes, rivers, streams, they all freeze from the top. And that top forms an insulating layer of ice which protects the bottom from freezing further and of course allows life to develop. If it were reversed, like if we lived on a planet full of methane or something, it would freeze from the bottom up, it would have a frozen solid lake and no life could ever develop. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.